Okay, I'm back at my test board here that I put my dog bone slash butterfly in. I keep calling it a dog bone, but I think the proper term for it is butterfly. Anyway, that's, uh, I was talking about how I located it. And uh, I got a comment from one of my subscribers on YouTube that said, you know, basically, why don't you use the grid? And uh, I didn't know anything about the grid until I went back and did a little research myself. But after watching some videos, that absolutely is the way to do it. And um, me drawing these, these lines to try and find center with my scribe marks, uh, that's, that's not CNC. That's <laughs> basically old school measuring and marking. And uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, if you want to get precise, you use the grid that comes with the, the uh, software and, and do it that way. Now the other thing I saw was someone had a video with that said there's no on off switch to turn the uh, machine on and off. So you would just you just unplug it. You know, but this is not where you unplug it. This this plug is so that you can remove the spindle uh, and change bits. And if you unplug it with this cord, uh, yeah, that's one way to do it, but I just do it with this way. I just have a remote switch here, and that's how I turn it on. And now it's on. And warming up. And when I get ready to turn it off, I just turn that switch off. I don't have to reach down and unplug it. It's just a simple matter of having uh, you know, a remote on-off switch at the end of an extension cord. Pretty simple stuff. And besides, uh, you can put that near your work and have the full length of the cord to move the router around. So now you can see the grid that I have on my on my screen and that corresponds to this test board. And so when I bring that over let me zoom out here. When I bring that over my board and pull it over to this corner. See if I can get there without... There it is, right there. Now you can see, hopefully, where the extrusion starts here the end of the end of my board or the edge of my board is there so this is zero zero I have the grid set up in uh, quarter inch yeah quarter inch increments and you can change that to whatever you want you can make it eighth inch you can make it sixteenth inch whatever dimension you want hundred thousands whatever so I've, uh, I've got it at eighth inch. So if I wanted to locate this thing, you can see right now it's at, it would snap to 0.75, uh, on the X, which is this way, and one inch on the Y. So I, so I cannot quite see the edge of my board there. Uh, I, I thought this was the edge, but it's not. So, the edge is actually down here, uh, down below the screen. So if I went and I wanted to place my artwork, my design here, and I push, I would push this button. Let me bring up a, my uh, design here. There it is. Okay. So now if I go back to the grid, well here, snap. And, but I want to I want the anchor point to be dead center I wish you would have seen there now so now I've got the anchor point being in the center and now I could snap to the grid you can see it snapping as I move along 
and the and the grid uh, locations are up here on the top 4.25 1.75 so yes I would have to know where I wanted it I'd have to get a rough measurement so let's just say let me get my tape measure out here and measure this So let's just say I wanted to locate it where it is. I would say that's uh, probably eight and a quarter by four and three eighths. I'd have to change my grid, but I'll call it four and a half. So eight and three quarter. Let me make sure we're seeing this. Let me make sure I'm seeing this. Get some spectacles here. Eight and a half by four and a half. Or four and a quarter, right? Well, there's four and a, four and a half. Eight and a half, four and a half. And if I look down the center of my opening there, hopefully you can see that too. I'm pretty much. right over that location. So now I know I could locate it right where I wanted it. So let's try this again. Let's see if I can locate it over that knot by um, measuring where the knot is. And then you'll see the knot show up on the screen and hopefully I can put that uh, center point right on the knot. So I'm going to push this out of the way. Now we're going to call this 13 and a half by 3 and a half. We'll bring this in. Get to, oops, sorry, 13.5, which is right there. And three and a half, which is right there. So you can see I'm almost dead nut center. But I, if I had measured more correctly, I probably should have had it at 13 and three quarter. And now it's dead center. So that's a much more efficient and better way to locate your design slash artwork whatever where you precisely want it on your workpiece based off an XY grid that you program into the into the uh, unit itself so let me show you how you program the grid in I'll set up a new grid but I'll use this same board but I'll set up a new grid and show you how you do that. Okay, so I canceled the placement of that artwork. It, it zoomed in for me. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. It's on the screen. I'm going up here to New Grid, and it's gonna tell me to pull it out to the edge of my workpiece. So it wants me to pull it out to here, and take a couple measurements, basically. And what I've got in there is my my V bit upside down. So it's a, basically a straight bit. There you can see it. So this is what's going the the edge of this is going to register against my 
workpiece, and I'll show you how you do that. Let me let me get the camera down down the line. Here. Okay. So you you want to make sure that the you, this would probably be a good time to unplug the unplug the uh, route the spindle, but I'm not going to do that. So anyway, you plunge it plunge it down. Making sure that it's clear of the workpiece. Now you just bring it up and gently tap it till it won't move right there. Push the green button again. Move it along, move it down the line. Bring it up to the edge. Green button again. Oh, you can't see that. Well, anyway, green button. Now you've got to physically lift the router up and bring it over to the Y axis or the Y edge, which is a 90 degree edge, hopefully. And now you can see me. Let me see if I can get everything in the picture here. So can we see this? Okay, so now you see what it wants me to do. It's so here's the first two edges I touched, one and two, and now I'm on the blue one up here to touch the Y. And then it wants me to push the green button on the handle to locate my 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 Y axis. So gently pull it up until I feel it stop. Now you see the grid instantly showed up on my screen there. And now, let me get this straightened around here for you. And now I've got a perfect grid to register my work to based on the corner. And so now I can Go to my grid, and let's just say I want the grid size to be 0.125 this time. Press OK. Now, anytime I, I move it, it's it, it'll snap to any one of those intersections there. So now you can see here. Now see if I wanted to just cut right here, cut a circle at that point, it would snap to it. Let's just say here, uh, uh, we got to go to design, shapes, circle, okay. Now I'm going to be a little off center, but it's going to snap to that point right there. You see it's it's there. And now as I move away, it's creating the circle whatever diameter I want here. It'll snap. Now there's a that's a three quarter inch diameter circle. If I want that one right there, push the green button again and now I'm ready to go. And now if I go back to cut I gotta get on the line first, sorry. There. I wanna go inside. Now it'll cut a three quarter inch diameter circle for me at that precise location. X two inches up, Y one and an eighth inch over. So that is uh, that's how the grid system works and if I if I go to my design now, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this design. Import my butterfly. Now I've got an eighth inch grid to work with, and I can be more precise in my measurements. And you can see, but the anchor point is here. If I change the anchor point to dead center, 
Now I can locate it anywhere along that grid. And if I had a precise measurement I wanted to set it down at, you know, over here on the knot again, should be about the same, 13 and a half or 13 and 3 quarter I guess it was. There's 13 and 3 quarter, 13 and a half. Precisely back where I was before, hopefully. I'm going to rotate the design. Thirteen and three quarter. Three and a half. Rot I'm rotating the design by rotating the router. Or I could do this. There. There. There we go. Now it's placed exactly where I want it. Much, much simpler, much more reliable. Thanks for watching. But before I go, let me turn my router off.